What's up guys? Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. Now, you might have clicked on this video because you are a regular subscriber. However, you might also be new here because it is a protein pancake video. If that is the case, please drop this video a like. Before we even get started, I promise you it's going to be the best protein pancake video you have ever seen. I can't promise that, but it's going to be good, okay? So stick around if you are new, drop the video a like. I'm going to nip to Sainsbury's because we don't actually have any ingredients. Um, this video is literally no use if I don't nip to the shops and get the ingredients. So here we go. Some pancake mix, some 0% fat Greek yogurt. I like this one because it's really thick, so it's good for the pancake kind of consistency. Bicarbonate of soda, this is pretty much just gonna fluff the pancakes up purely because it's not a real pancake. It's just gonna taste a bit like one. So this is gonna help them look all fluffy for the gram, you know? Obviously not picked up from Sainsbury's, but we have some chocolate caramel, my protein whey. Um, obviously I work with my protein, so links in the description box and all that kind of stuff. But you can literally use any protein you would like. And then moving on to the toppings, we have strawberries to make it look pretty, bananas to make it look pretty, and some chocolate chips, which are going to be going either in the mix or sprinkled on top. I haven't quite decided yet. We'll just see how it goes. And anybody who knows me knows that I'll be washing this down with a glass of OJ. One little added extra will be these My Protein Flavor Drops. So this is actually the chocolate caramel flavored uh, way. So we're gonna have this like chocolatey, toffee, caramelly kind of goodnessy pancake. It's gonna be good. I'm actually really excited to make this. But it's no good cooking in my summer shredding tea, okay? We need to look a little bit more pancakey. Okay, boom. I can finally say that these teas will actually be releasing very soon. Stay tuned on all of Lodo's social and mine, for that matter. Um, for more information on that, obviously I did that video a couple weeks ago. It's coming. Oh, they're coming. But I would hate to get it all mucky in the meantime before I do the actual kind of Lodo promo thing. So, we have my new My Protein apron to put on in the meantime. If you uh, if you haven't seen the yoga video, the Bodybuilder Tries Yoga video thing, um, definitely go and check that out. They actually gave us these for the cooking section of that video. Um, and it's jokes, it's really, really good. It's a really good video, so um, yeah, go and check that out. So what you will need is a big ass pan to cook your pancakes in. You will also need a big ass bowl. <laughs> Yeah, let's go for this one. Okay, so, ooh, you can use a blender if you want, but I'm actually keeping ours clean for the Lodo thing that I'm gonna do in a minute. You'll, you'll see. Anyway, protein pancakes, let's go. I forgot to mention the fact that you will need milk as well. Can you tell I haven't prepared or rehearsed this? This is very spontaneous. I have a couple of hours this morning, so I'm gonna make a pancake video, okay? I also forgot to say that you will need eggs. You will need egg whites, but I forgot to buy egg whites at, at Sainsbury's. So we're gonna have to go with eggs. It, it'll do. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. It's very professionally done, I know. Okay, so we are gonna start off by putting the bowl on the scales. We actually have pancake mix, which is just ready-made kind of mix. We're gonna go for 100 grams of said mix into the bowl. Next up, we are gonna go for 150 grams of this. Greek yogurt. So the reason why you go for this one, if you just take a look at this, you can actually see the kind of thick consistency of it and how it would actually thicken the mix. When you make normal pancakes, like not protein fitnessy kind of pancakes, you'll find that the actual flour and the milk and eggs just make this nice consistency, whereas you kind of have to create it for yourself when you're when you're not using the, the real ingredients. Okay, that is 80 grams. We are going for 150, so about the same again. If you're bothered about having to have a massive tub of this as well, just keep it in the fridge, literally just store it. Use any protein powder you like. Have 100 grams, 150 grams at night. It's very low fat. Stick a scoop of protein in it, swirl it around, and all of a sudden you have this lovely flavored protein um, yogurt. Don't knock it till you try it. Okay, so next up we have half a teaspoon of this, so the smaller spoon for the people at university that don't know the difference between the spoons, half a teaspoon of that. Be careful with this as well, because if you actually use too much of this, it will ruin the pancake rather than help it rise. It will literally just turn it into mush. Next up, we are gonna start off by separating out one egg. If you can't be bothered to do that, just shove the egg in. It's really not gonna make 
that much difference. You just have to account for a little bit more fat, you know, in the eggs. Separating the eggs out, you literally just bit by bit go like this. This is why people buy egg whites, and to be honest, we normally do as well. I, I just forgot. These are actually large eggs as well, so two should really do it. Um, maybe three, but I'm just going to go with two to start off with. We can always add it later. Next up, we're going to set the scales back to zero again and add 100 millilitres of milk. You can use any milk you'd like. Uh, I'm going to be using... Oh, perfect. I'm going to be using semi-skim because it's what we had in the fridge. And again, I forgot that I would need to buy milk. I would have used almond milk, but it really does not matter, so... And to top it off, we have some my protein flavour drops in the toffee flavour. So I'm going to stick a few of these in here. Bang! Bang, 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 bang. This is the stuff that everybody is using in their videos, but they're not allowed to say that they're putting in their pancakes because they're not, whoa! Because they're not actually affiliated with these companies. Um, however, my protein flavor drops, whether you work with the company or not, everybody uses these. They're freaking awesome. Give it all a mix, and this will kind of give you an idea of what the consistency is gonna be like. And depending on how you want your pancakes to look, whether you like thin runny ones, this is where you can either add more mix, or if you're a gambling man, you can stick with what you already have. I think we are actually not too far away with this. I haven't rehearsed this at all, can you tell? I mean, I, I think I'm doing pretty well. Now all we need to do is add the protein in, like so. Bosh. This is where it starts to turn to that lovely, gooey, chocolatey colour. Guys, this smells absolutely awesome. I am freaking buzzing with this. Once you have reached your desired consistency and you have mixed in your protein thoroughly, make sure you've given it a good old stir. This is where we can add in the chocolate chunks, okay? So set the scales to zero. I reckon we go for anywhere between 10 and 15 grams. So that's only five grams, yeah, we'll go for 10. Perfect. Okay, I think it is time to start cooking. So, heat your pan up until it is piping hot, and then add the protein pancakes. We will be cooking today using this Frylight olive oil kind of flavored spray. You can get a ton of flavors of this. I actually prefer the butter one, but we're out of that. We've got the olive one right now. One calorie per spray, five sprays is about all you need. We're gonna go for a serving spoon kind of job here, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Boom. You know what? Guys, I think we've smashed it. Once you start seeing these bubbles appear around the top, that is when it's pretty much ready to flip. In three, a two, a one. Oh! Oh! Flippinacki's smashed it! I'm actually going to be using a plate, just plonking the ones that I've already made on here. I'm hoping to make three um, and sticking them in the oven just to kind of keep them warm so they actually taste half decent rather than just cooking a stack and, you know, it looking good but tasting like crap for the ground. Seriously, would you know that that is a protein pancake? No is the answer. No, you would not. Numero uno. Bang! Right, so I'm going to go for less this time and then kind of layer it so that it stays nice and thick, you know? Flip number two coming up in three, a two, a one. Oh no, he's burnt it a bit! So while these are cooking, I'm gonna save a bit of time and uh, cut up a banana for the toppings and all this kind of stuff, cut up a few strawberries to make it look pretty, and um, yeah, well, it, it's just saving a bit of time, you know? See, there's an art to this, because when you're gonna take photos and making a video and stuff, you have to take the brightest, reddest, amazing looking strawberries so that your pancakes look really good. Number two, third one, going in. The thing is with this bicarbonate of soda, right? I'm really zoomed in. This really fluffs up your pancakes. I've never actually used it before and I didn't realize to what extent it really would puff it up. I've always thought, what the hell am I doing wrong with pancakes? Why don't, why don't mine fluff up like they do on the TV? This is why. We are up close and personal for the third flip. Look at the size of this friggin' pancake. One, two, three. Boom! My next tip is to use a small plate because then the pancakes that you've made look freaking massive. Pancake number two, going on like so. Pancake number three, being layered on like so. I'm actually gonna stick some banana bits in between each layer. One, it raises it up a tad, and two, you get this nice, like, 
banana-y taste kind of throughout. Obviously, if you don't like banana, then don't do it. Strawberry, strawberry. Make it look pretty down here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Just to top it off, let's go for some little sprinkles like so. Oh, but Liam, you haven't measured it. Shut up. Blue white chocolate. Oh, wow, this looks insane, guys. And finally, a dollop of this my protein, uh, protein spread. I will actually be weighing this. Now, if you put this in the microwave for like 20 seconds, you will get this lovely drizzly thing like that and that is probably the best thing i've ever made in my entire life i'm buzzing about that okay so i think it's fair to say that this is probably worthy of a fancy knife and fork okay coming down I'm expecting good things. Mm. <laughs> I should do this like once a week. This is awesome. Mm. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so if this is way too high calorie for you, I, I need to clean this up. Oh my god. Let me finish my mouthful. If this is way too high calorie for you, I have an alternative. It's not as high protein, but my God, it's low calorie. Let's do this. Okay, round two, the logo edition of the pancakes, okay? For this, you will need a blender, food processor, something along these lines, uh, around about 50 ml of milk off the top of my head. I've got the recipe written down. Um, one piece of logo, one egg, and some sort of flavoring slash sweetener kind of thing. Then anything else you put on top is down to you. So what you're going to be doing with this piece of Lodo is actually blitzing it into a kind of really fine powder. So what you will be doing, these are like 30 freaking calories per one. It's actually ridiculous. I don't know how they do it. I use it to make these pieces all the time and stuff. Anyway, you guys know all about Lodo. Break it up into little pieces just to kind of help it along its way. Put the lid on and what we're going to do, instead of just holding it down like you would a smoothie, we're going to kind of blitz it. Boom. 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 Take it off, give it a shake, go again. Once you have reached your desired consistency, if you like, um, it should look a little bit kind of like flour, you know? Just take it up, take the lid off like so. If it looks all fine and crumbly inside, that's it, you're there. Hang on, I just remembered I'm supposed to be doing a logo thing, so you need to be able to see my t-shirt. How's that? Am I good? Am I good? <laughs> One large egg going in like so. You're supposed to beat it, but I'm gonna give it another zap in the machine, so it'll do the same thing. Grab the scales and stick in 50 milliliters of milk. Change it over. Boom. When weighing milk out, guys, be really careful because it is literally a splash that is 50 mil. You know, 50 milliliters of anything is not a lot. So we're gonna put a few drops of that in like so. Give it another blitz and we should be good. Once you have blitzed it, it should look nice and thick, like a pancake mix. Heat up your pan, a couple of sprays, bosh, bosh, and stick your mix straight onto the pan. I'm actually just gonna stick a few drops, both milk chocolate and white chocolate. Once you've given it a couple of minutes, it's cooked on one side, same procedure, flip, like so. That is probably the lightest, fluffiest pancake I have made all day. Now, while that is cooking away, over the next couple of weeks, Lodo will be releasing these t-shirts. As you guys know, I have a discount code, all that kind of stuff, so stay tuned on that. Stay tuned on mine, Luke's, and Lodo's Instagrams for more information on these. They will be releasing... Luke's told me a day, and I can't remember what it was. It's in a couple of weeks. If you would like to be in with a chance of winning one of these t-shirts, they've given me three to give away to you guys. Guess how many calories are in this one pancake right here. Bear in mind how big how fluffy, how light it is, how many calories. Three of the closest guesses will win three Lodo t well win a t-shirt each, but you get the point. Guess your comments in the comment section down below to be in with a chance of winning one of the teas. Now I think it's ready. Now here we have it people, the Lodo pancake. You can see the chocolate chips kind of coming through the middle. Oh, oh my God. Now I know what you're thinking. Liam, that's only one pancake. I want more than one pancake. Well. I would highly recommend you double up on this dose, purely because there is two low dose in one pack, it saves you kind of storing one away when it's open, and 
it is very, 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 very low calorie. You can add some protein powders to this if you want, but the point is of this to show you just how low calorie a pancake really can be. So stick your guesses in the comment section down below for a chance to be winning a t-shirt. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do me a massive favor. It would really help out. Drop a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new for plenty more content. Next video will be live tomorrow. I'll see you then. Links for Lodo, links for my protein, links for free and everything as per usual will be in the description box. Don't forget to guess to be in with a chance of winning a free tea. I love you guys, I appreciate you guys. Go enjoy those pancakes and I will see you in the next one.